and then I go when we're done, and everybody goes, wow, it's like a drive-by class or whatever. It was just like so, like an auctioneer. So it's nice because it, the questions that you have, most everybody else also has, or there may be questions that you didn't even know that you had. So you hear her go, I did bananas and it was a debacle. And you're going, oh no, I don't want to do bananas now. That's a debacle. But we're going to make you feel better about that because this is really this is really easy. And so something went wrong and we'll figure out what that is and then figure out how we can make that better. So, all right, you can in the back corner. Hi, Lori. And I'm a beginner, so I need to do everything. Okay. Just awesome. Just listen to everyone else's stuff. Love it. All right, let's go right this way. Hi, Barbara. Good old. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. That's now we're getting easy. All right. That's how I like it. Yes, right here. I'm Marilyn, and I want to know what size the flex of things sheets are, so I know if they fit in my dehydrator. Okay. And I just want to be motivated to it's silly that I'm not using it as much as I used to. Okay. So motivation. Awesome. Yes. Karen and I know nothing, so anything. Mm. <laughs> Karen, I like it. All right. This is great. I love it. What's fun about being at the beginning is you're going to find a lot of things to do correctly from the first time, from the first point, which makes me feel happy. Because I always start a project and then go to a class and figure out all the things I've done wrong and all the ways I spent money that I didn't need to. And I'm like, oh. So, yes. Oh, yes. Well, every time I try to make fruit leather, it doesn't turn out very good. Okay, no problem. Does it turn out too brittle? Too no. what? <laughs> okay, the other way? Well, it's like I. I put it on saran wrap and wax paper, it doesn't peel off good. Okay. Wow. No problem. Cooking spray, but we'll get there. So, awesome. Yes. I recognize you. Hi. How are I don't you doing? Know what you're doing We're going around, you tell me your name and what you want to learn tonight. If you have a specific question or. Okay. I'm Katie. Um, well, you presented at our state, but I wanted more of a refresh. Of course, I actually bought a food saver, but. see some people snuck in right over here next to Susan. Yes, what's yeah. your first name? My name is Tatiana. Okay, and I'm, just, I'm just here to learn. Awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's good. And then right over here next to Katie. What's your first name? Janine. Janine, what can I do for you tonight? What would you like to learn? Can you turn the heat up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Matt, I am from Texas. We will caliente. We are good. So, yes, ma'am. I was just curious about your food saver. Okay. Um, I didn't bring one because I don't own one. I mind our bag everything. However, we'll open up a section on the question and answer portion where we can let some people who do food savers give you some information if you're worried about how you're using it. Um, I have a lot of friends who actually um, food saver and then mylar bag on top of it, which is kind of went to me like a lot of steps, but just me. So just whatever your taste is, whatever you like, but we'll get to that part. Okay. Wonderful. Well, I'm so glad you're here. We'll start with some basics just to get, um, get you guys started. A few of you guys have already been here, so this will be a little bit familiar to you. So if you'll just roll with that. We'll start out first with books and information. Because like all things, you can't really jump into something and feel like you know what you're doing unless you've done a little bit of reading. Now, you can do anything online, so you don't have to buy any books. But there is one book that I really think everybody should own. It's about 20 bucks. And if you buy the Excalibur, like the larger um, nine tray um, Excalibur, the, the book actually comes with it free. So this is it. Now, it doesn't come like this. Um, Sherry and Susan know me. I like to cut all the bindings off of everything and put them in sheet protectors. You give me a binder and sheet protectors, and I'm like the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> so I am just a nerd because whenever I use it, I don't want my kids all, it's just nasty. I don't want them doing all that. So I like to have everything um, nice and protected. 
And so that way I can reference what I need. I can kind of put a flag on it really easily. And then that way I can also open it and close it easily. So I'm all about having it up on the counter. I got it propped up against the you know, toaster oven or whatever. So that way I can do what I need to do. Um, all right, so this is it. And this is on the back page. You'll see a lot of these books. So unless there's something additional, um, which there's one additional in here, which is not necessary. Okay, this is one of my absolute, absolute favorites in the whole world. The lady that wrote this is amazing, and I'm in love with her, and I've never even met her, but I am going to. I'm going to drive to her house. She took 30 of the top meals that many people eat, converted them to dehydrated ingredients that you can either buy in a number 10 can, freeze-dried, or that you can dehydrate yourself, and then you make pre-make meals. And so this is kind of a little sample of what kinds of meals that she's doing. This is one of my concoctions, but we'll talk more about that in a little bit when we get to the section on doing full meals. So she has you pre-put um, the ingredients into quart jars that you label, and then you can give them as gifts, use them for food storage, and then her goal is, is that if you put together um, um, one dinner that you'll do three additional, and then over um, a month's time you'll have 90 days of food storage. Amazing. I, that's just amazing. So anyway, love this book. It's about $15 maybe. We can do a group buy and get them down to about $12. So if you decide that you'd like to do one of these, if you'll just let me know, either email me or add it on the bottom of the order sheet, and I'll be happy to um, make sure and get in contact with you and we'll get these ordered. So okay, it comes in a natural manual style book, but I like to cut everything down from protector, so we're good. I buy sheep protectors like in bulk. That was so. titled? Okay, this one is titled Dinner is in the Jar. Okay. Wonderful. And these are all on the back, on the very back page of your handout. Um, these are some of the books that I love, love, love. These are some of the books that I love, love, love. And this one, actually, two of the dinners that you see tonight actually came out of this book. This is one of my favorites. Her, this whole book is put together with the idea that you'll dehydrate them. What's the other one? And this one's on the very back page of the handout. So if you want to grab a handout and just oh, okay, get another copy. Okay, let's snack in backpacking. Now, I've got, because I bought the one after you talked in class at the I bought the backpacking book. This one? And then you know how Amazon is. Oh, do you want to buy this one too? Mm -hmm. And it was like some value one, but it was all dehydrated and it was pretty good too. Good. I push up. That's awesome. If not, just email me and then we'll add it to the list because it's always good to have additional resources. <laughs> um, this is one of my all-time favorite books. It's like 12 bucks at Emergency Essentials. You can buy them at the grocery store sometimes in the emergency food section. I love this book. It's like $12. It's the best book ever written, ever, ever, ever. I give this for wedding gifts all the time, and couples look at me like, can I go put it in your cover, you graduate from college, you'll know what I'm talking about. And so they're always like, okay, because when you're cooking for two of you, you usually do like Taco Bell, Little Caesars. So when you start having kids, you go, wow, that's really expensive. So then you start making your own food. And um, this is um, an amazing book. So it's called Mix Meal Cookbook. She basically takes and breaks down major recipes, like all kinds of recipes, baking, um, goodies, breakfast things, dinner things, lunch things. So that way, there's a really extensive, she breaks down breads for you. So that way you can make mixes of these and pre-use them. So what I do is I make a huge mix that I use for all my um, like fruit breads. And then I just have it ready so that way I can either add pumpkin, I can, I can take something that I've dehydrated, rehydrate it, add it to it. Um, I can take a, a can of you know cherry pie mix, throw it in, whatever you want. And so I'm able to mile our bag those down individually. Mm. I love it because not only does she give you the big mix, so she scales it all the way up for you, so that way you can do a bunch at one time. She <coughs> gives you the mini mix so you can see if you like it first. I love this lady. So anyway, she has trimmed well two of them. They've tremendously reduced the amount of time that we have to worry about this stuff. And so for those of you who are saying um, that you worry about what to do after this, what to do after this. This is going to be your first place to go. This is going to be the, the key to using those ingredients, to being able to pull those things out and to make them happen. So this is your key right here. Um, and then this is just one that I got that I thought was really cute because I buy random pre-dehydrating books because I have no life apparently. So this is um, a really fun one. It has a lot of like really cool facts. They're talking about how if we would, um, the banana crops in some of the countries that are producing bananas, the act, they're actually um, causing issues with the local environment and things because they're throwing so many bananas away because the American market will only support perfect bananas. And yet they don't have the resources in these countries to actually take those bananas that are kind of chucking away that are not fabulous because they have a ding, a mark, a spot on them, and dehydrate them and how it would feed countries because there are so many bananas, just thousands of pounds of bananas. 
And it's just so sad because you're just like, what a waste. And so they were just saying, you know, please don't, and her thing is just don't throw any bananas away. Ever since I started to hydrate.